Greetings from New Zealand, my name's Lindsay Field. This is a foot that we looked at at a dissection workshop on the 20th of October 2018. So what I'm going to do is go through all the external features with you and in a subsequent video I'll go through all of the internal features. So first of all this is a stripy foot and we can see quite a bit of pigment through here and through here and the actual tubules running from the top here to about this point here are pretty good. The quality of the hoof is, is quite good at that, at that stage there compared to the rest of the hoof which doesn't look quite so good. So if you look at between here and here, which is where the hoof wants to grow, and it's, 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 it's the growth that's occurred re most recently, compared to this growth here, is pretty bad. Now we don't know why it's good growth here and poor there. It could be a mineral change, or it could be a change in diet, uh, better pasture. Now this hoof was culled in the uh, in the winter so it could be that this hoof received extra feed during the winter months which shows a better quality of hoof at this point here compared to this point here but we don't really know that but you can see quite clearly the quality of the two uh, the two different parts of the hoof is, is quite profound now looking at the tubules so the tubules are those little um, little structures that run from here from the coronary band in the coronary groove and they run down to they reach the ground at the bottom of the foot and then they're worn away so this is the area in here where the tubules are produced and the tubules are those little lines that you see that run down the foot so the tubules are looking quite aligned from the top to the bottom i can't see any any sort of ripples but have a look at the actual growth rings. You can just see a few growth rings coming through here, which are a little bit more prominent. Now that could just be a change of diet or a wormer or um, an extra, um, something that, that happened to this hoof while it was alive. You can see quite a reasonable uh, dip through there. That's another growth ring. So when these tubules will be informed up here, for this growth ring, say it was up there, something happened in this horse's life to make a change to the way the tubules were growing and the intertubular horn. And that's why we're seeing this line through here. So the tubules, as I mentioned, are growing from up here. And then there's another part of the horn called intertubular horn, which grows in between. And it's a bit like concrete with reinforcing. Now we can see really nicely the way the tubules are running and they run down and they seem to like always want to move forward. And so this foot, if you look at the actual heels, they're very underrun. And what do I mean by that? Well, they're running forward quite a lot. This heel needs to really be back here like this. So this would not be a very healthy foot. Also, when we look at the heels, they are, oh, they're just such bad quality. Even though it's reasonably reasonably good quality around here, once we get to here, it's so shabby and so damaged. And when we actually look at the bottom of the foot, we can see how much those heels have underrun. They're coming right forward. You know, we want to have the weight of the horse at the back of the hoof, not running forward like this. So this is not a very healthy foot. You can see how much far forward they've run. You know, they're about, gosh, almost a third forward um, compared to the size of the foot. We need these heels to be back here somewhere. Now, not only are they running forward, but they are really a poor quality heel. The purchase is not very good, meaning where the heel actually hits the ground. It's just all raggedy and it's just very thin all around here. This area here is called the seat of corn and it's really all, all overgrown through there. And so this isn't a very strong structure. There's also cracks that have gone on through the back here. This hoof wall has broken away quite a lot. If I just turn that around, could you see how this is broken? And so I'm gonna have a look through there to see what's going on in that part. Now I'm going to have a look at the bars. So these are the bars through here and here. 
and these bars are really overgrown. You'd expect to see a nice line through there and I can see it's like folding over onto each side and it just is just flaring out from here. I don't know if you can see how much that's flaring. So the bar is like going over the sole at this point here and there's mm, there seems to be some rubbish in there now it could just be sole material exfoliating sole but I, I wouldn't think that we would want to see these sorts of um, fissures through there so I think that these bars needed to come back now I can also see on the bars I can see like the growth rings like we mentioned the growth rings on the on the on the main uh, foot on the capsule we also have growth rings on the bars as well and you can just about see those and they also tell a story about what's happening with the foot so these growth rings are like a barometer of what the history has gone on with the foot so if you do see thick growth rings then there's something that's happened but that's been and gone you know we can't do anything about that we just have to be aware of what's happening in that horse's uh, husbandry Looking at the frog, is oh, it's a terribly rubbishy frog. We, we really want to have a nice, thick, wide frog across the back of the foot, and we have not got that in this foot. This is a skinny little thing. It's all falling apart, it's exfoliating, it's all crushed up. Can you see the way it's all pushing together here? And there's like this little physio through here. The whole thing is pushed and also this area here is gonna be a breeding ground for thrush. So what we're seeing is a contracted heel, meaning that the whole thing is squished up and we can see the squishing through there and we can see a long thin frog. So this frog is not gonna be able to do its job. We want the frog to be nice and big and fat and we want it to be a supporting structure for the back of the foot and like a tire, like a cushioning structure. And if I just get this into the right light, you can see that that is not gonna be doing much cushioning for this poor foot. So if we did take these heels right down to get rid of all of this, to try and get a better heel purchase here, then that poor little frog is not gonna do very well as it starts hitting the ground. So ideally to rehab this foot, if we were going to go barefoot, is that we would probably tidy up these heels and put the horse into um, pasture, or a track system which has pea gravel and what that does is that stimulates the frog because the frog needs to be stimulated by ground pressure um, pressure on and off not constant pressure and by stimulating the frog it's going to grow and, and that's the only way you're going to get this frog to grow back is by stimulating it interesting part of the of the sole is I have exfoliated the sole and you can see it's quite clean, quite a lot came off. But look at this area through here, which really drew my attention. It looks very similar to the shape of the coffin bone. And I would have thought that this is a more pathological pigment rather than a random pigment. And we've seen quite a lot of pigments on the soles of feet and there's been like spots here and spots there and my question's always been why why do we have pigment in the sole this one looks to be quite symmetrical and i'm wondering if it's going to be something to do with the coffin bone so my plan is that i'm going to do a sagittal section through here so we can have a look at halfway through the foot and that's the typical presentation that you see in textbooks. And then I'm going to take sections through here so we can look at what's going on with the bar, how far the bar is going over the sole. We can have a look at all this damage through the back here. We can have a look at this part here of the heel. And also we can have a better look at what's going on in the frog. Also by doing that sectioning through here, we can have a better look at this pigment and get a better idea of what we think this might be. Now the other thing I noticed is that there was a real dip in the front here. I can feel the lateral cartilage through here, but there's a distinct dip. And I wondered if the coffin bone is actually 
descending into the foot. Uh, we'll be able to see if it is descending or not, but um, I believe that if you get a dip like that, that does mean um, or suggests that the coffin bone has started to descend or is descending into the foot. Yeah, that's quite a distinct dip there. We can see the cartilage through there quite nicely. It's not a very thick cartilage, it's quite thin, so it's not a very well-built cartilage. And I think that goes in with the, the whole of the foot, really. You know, the back of the foot here is not very well developed because the heels are underrun. We've got this area here where the whole thing is curling round and going forward. So I think that that term is called collapsed heels. So this is really not a particularly good foot. And because the back of the foot is not able to do its job properly because everything is collapsing and going forward, I think that the cartilage is also being pulled round as well. And that's why it's not so big at this point here. I think we would like to see a better quality cartilage at the back of the foot. Let's have a look here. Um, yeah, it's, we've got this, it's dropped quite a lot through this point here. Can you see how it's dipping down compared to this side here? And really, you know, we want to see this to look the same. We really wanted to see some great big luscious bulbs out the back and we're not seeing that. We're not seeing the bulbs and we, this is not the same. This is looking quite different between the two. And that's probably, I think it's probably due to a balance issue. This side here seems to be more underrun and more forward than this side here. And that could be why this is the whole side is collapsing and moving down. And I think that's what we're seeing here with the actual appearance of the back of this foot. So I'm going to go and do some sections and then I'm going to come back in a later video and show you what's happening inside this foot. Thank you for watching.